Hello and welcome to another episode of Power Rangers Lore. Today we're going to talk about none other than Spike Skullovich. Now, we're not going to go too in-depth about his lore because I think we'll get to another video, but this is a theory video about just how old he is. Um, it's... I didn't really care at first until I saw going through and studying for another video for the timeline, and all of a sudden it goes, this is, might be his one-time birth, and I go, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Well, here it is. So in the show... It doesn't give him exact age, but you, it's pure, theoretically believed that he's about 14 years old. However, in the episode Runaway Spike, he's seen maneuvering a car and accepting a job as a security guard. You have to be at least 18 years or older to get that type of job. No one's going to hire a 14 year old. No one really hires 16 year olds unless you work at Publix. Sorry. Or you get really bad pay. Now he is trying to raise money to help his uncle out, so he's got to get some money here. Um, that would mean he has to be at least 18, so we're four years off. Now, that doesn't seem too bad, whatever, but it would put him in the timeline, if he's around 18, that he's born, essentially, right after, or right before the uh, Skull and Bulk graduate from the Junior Police Academy. So, what what is going on there? That means he would basically, right off high school... Skull knocks up a chick and we, that we don't even know, and all of a sudden there's a kid now. Um, very interesting there. Um, the other one would be basically if he's 14, he's born during Turbo, but again, we don't see any women and the like. Now, it would make more sense why he stayed behind in Lost Galaxy um, to raise a kid and family, but we don't know of anything. Or maybe because he joined the police career because he got a woman pregnant and basically had to provide for her. We don't know. We know later on that his family is rich. He's rich. And it's very interesting going on there. But where was Spike born? I don't know. Um, he has the same type of mannerisms as his father does. Um, basically, the, the spiky hair, all that's going on there. He's got a weird laugh to him. Um, gets put some... Puts, bulk into the same situations as um, he did with Skull, but uh, Bulk will never hit Spike because, well, it's his nephew and he loves him. Um, so it's very interesting that same point there. Now he still also is very like his father in the point that he thinks the Pink Ranger is prettiest and the like, just like his father, and would have a crush on Mia, um, just like his father had a crush on Kimberly, not real neither of them realizing later uh, that Kimberly was the Pink Ranger at the time, so it's pretty interesting there. Um, he also has both clumsy tendencies and the like, but there's also another theory that he was adopted, but there's no hint to that. It would, it's, I think they would have been said that way. I want to say that he was born right before they joined the Junior Police Academy, and that's why they suddenly decided to change everything in their whole perspective. There's also, I believe, let me check the timeline here, that... Right before then, that in that time period, that Bulk and Skull give up their quest to um, big up, get big, uh, give up their quest to basically find who, who the Rangers are. Oh no! Okay, right after that, in the next season, right about in the, in the third season, is that they give up their identities. That would make sense. That'd be a pretty interesting thing. Hey, we need to find a new path, a new focus in the future. So I don't know. What do you guys think? This is a pretty theory that I didn't realize it was a thing. And I started looking around going, what the heck's going on there? So let me know, guys, what you think. Like, comment, and subscribe. Give me something else you want to do. Let me know if there's any other weird theories that you want me to talk about and just uh, dig up. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. And may the power protect you always. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe at the end of this video. Uh, all your likes help me out and all of your watchers do too. Thank you very much, guys. I really like to discuss with you guys what your topics are. May the power protect you always.